Thank you for coming. This is an important press conference, um, and I thank you all for your interest and your presence here today. Let me first introduce myself. I'm Paul Bulke. I'm the CEO of Nestle Worldwide from uh, Switzerland, and I have here with me on the table first uh, Etienne Bennett, who is the managing director of Nestle here in India. I have here to my left Shivani Hegde who is Managing Director of Nestle Sri Lanka, now for only for a few months, but who has been responsible for Nestle, for Maggi noodles here in India for more than 15 years. I would say she is the mother of the Maggi noodle brand here in India. And we have on my right uh, Sanjay Kahuria, Head of Corporate Affairs here in Nestle in India. Now, I have mentioned that this is an important press conference. and. Uh, I want to speak here about the, the Nestle noodles, uh, Maggi noodles here in India. They have been heavy, heavy in the press, and if I see you all here, I can understand that you have a keen interest. It has been heavy in the press in negative uh, terms uh, lately. I would say we felt that Nestle unfounded uh, reasons, but it has led to confusion, and I would say it's something fundamental that is very close and 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 our first priority, trust of our consumers, has been shaken. And, and that's why I'm here. That's why I came also from Switzerland to observe and see, analyze uh, the situation and take decisions. And you have seen already with yesterday the decisions that have been taken. We found that the trust of the consumers uh, and, uh, and the safety uh, and uh, quality of our products, which is, which is our foremost priority, uh, uh, has been shaken in here. Unfortunately, I must say, recent developments and, and, and growing concerns and growing concerns about the product has led to that confusion. And, um, and that has then given us um, uh, this, this feeling that there was not the environment anymore to provide um, um, a, a, an atmosphere uh, that has the trust of the consumers. And that's why we have decided uh, to take the product out of the market temporarily. I must say, the product the Maggi noodles in India are safe for consumption. And that may sound very hard, but very, very affirmative. And it is. And we base that that uh, Nestle applies, uh, I must say, the same quality standards and the same procedures and safety and quality assurance methods everywhere in the world, the same. And that applies prominently also for uh, the Maggi noodles here in India. But responding to the recent events, and the worries, we have extended with additional tests. Over 1,000 batches of Maggi noodles have been tested in the last days. And we have actually extended them even with complementary tests with third parties accredited uh, labs and laboratoria. With 650 la uh, other batches have been tested. And all results that came out of this uh, indicate that the Maggi noodles are safe for consumption and are well within the regulatory limits established here in India. And we have shared these results with the authorities and, and we have been uh, also linked up online with the broader public on this issue. I know there was additionally uh, an issue on the added MSG um, that uh, state, is stated on the label. We do not add MSG in the Maggi noodles. But it is some ingredients, some ingredients like groundnut proteins, like uh, also onion powder and wheat flour, have um, or contain glutamate in a natural way, and as such may be present in or are present in the product. But we do not add MSG to the product as stated. Now, that may lead to confusion, apparently has led to confusion, and that's why we also decided to take from now the mention of no added MSG from the label, not to have that confusion. So that's where we are. Um, so first, the Maggi noodles in Nestle India are safe for consumption. The atmosphere and environment is not conducive. Trust has been shaken and therefore is not inducive, we felt, to have 
our product on the shelf, in spite of the product being safe. I said, product quality and safety for Nestle is paramount, it's the first priority. That translates in trust with consumers. That trust is shaken. And it is now our attention, and with the consumer in mind, that we're going to work and do everything in our, in our uh, what it takes, everything what it takes, to work also and to clarify with the authorities the situation and to have the Maggie noodles back on the shelves as soon as possible. I think that's what we said yesterday in our statement. That is what I want to share with you. Looking at you, that's what we will do now. There's many things to do. And I feel the first priority is engage with all stakeholders to clarify what we feel and found in confusion. Hi, this is Pritika from the Wall Street Journal. Um, I have two questions. One is, why has it taken uh, Nestle two weeks to um, do a press conference? And the second is, are you all stopping production of the noodles? Uh, could you give us a time frame of uh, what is happening exactly? Is, has the production been stopped across all factories? First question, why, why it took certain times? Because we have been in intensive, intensive uh, discussions and, as you can imagine, with the authorities um, uh, to, to clarify, to show our, our arguments and, and to show our tests that we have intensified. We have permanent tests that we can deliver straight on every time. As the doubt started to, uh, uh, to prevail or to fade in the market, we have been in intensive discussions with the local and the national authorities to say, look, we uh, wait for uh, firm results. We don't have actually notification of any results of any test done by third parties or by uh, authorities. We don't have that. You can imagine we're not going to do press conferences um, if we don't have the data or uh, there's speculation. There's only media and we have to learn from media apparent uh, uh, decisions so you can understand that we privilege first the direct relation before we go public. We felt that we got to a point that the consumer trust was shaken. And that we know now. And, and we have to establish that trust. That's, that's our first priority. That's why we are sitting here. That's why we, we take the product out of the shelf. Having the product safe. Because we privilege that relationship perceived relationship with the consumer. Now the other question, look, we have all interest to clarify the situation as soon as possible with the government. I think there are rational arguments, we are rational people, and I'm very confident that we're going to be back as soon as possible. It's our, that's our prime objective now. Yeah, Mr. Paul, I have a question that uh, lead has been Lead has been found uh, of tuned to 8 to 10 times of the permissible limit in Maggi. So where did that lead came from? Is it because of the packaging material uh, that Maggi is packed in? Or either it is because of water contamination or what is the reason behind that? And now since, uh, this is another question, now since UK have also uh, set of testing Maggi noodles, so is it a global crisis for Nestle? First of all, we didn't have in all our tests any test that came out with these results. So that's where we have them to share and see why. Uh, we also know there is methodologies. What do you test? It's clear that you test only one part of a product, like the spices per se, that you may get certain other results. Although, there again, we have way below the normal permitted limits. So uh, there is confusion about how you test a product like that and also the results. But there you have to have notification of the results to be able to share that. So I, I, are you questioning the test laboratories in India? Are you raising a question over the testing laboratories in India? I don't understand your question, sorry. Are you raising a question over the testing laboratories in India? Oh no, whatsoever. Look, it is only when you pull them together and see and then trying to know why the difference maybe exists that you can get to conclusions. We don't have that in our hands 
now. But that's why we're going to work with the authorities as soon as possible. And and my another question was related to the tests that are being conducted in this yeah, yeah. Sir, this is Dal Krishna from Arch, the TV channel. My question is that you said that in your tests that you have done independently, you found Maggie to be safe and no energy and no uh, lead. Uh, so, are you going to approach court uh, against that test that done by India, different labs? And the second question is, do you think that there is a design to malign the image of uh, Nestle? We are engaged with the regulator and trying to understand that they have tested the test, how they have tested the methodology, which we have tested the 1000 batches, they didn't get out of lead. We are talking to them that they have tested the test and we have tested the test and we have tested the test so that एक क्लेरिफिकेशन मिल सके और इश्यू रिजॉल्व हो सके हाँ पब्लिक करेंगे हमारे वेबसाइट के ऊपर अगर आप जाएंगे तो आपको रिपोर्ट्स दिख जाएंगे ओके कैन यू टेक द क्वेश्चन बैक प्लीज किस बात का वन्ना 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 फ्रॉम योर कॉर्पोरेट ड्राइवर नाउ आई वुड से यू हैव टू लेट वी वुड नॉट वेंचर इन स्पेकुलेशन all people involved, authorities I know, have one thing in mind, the safety of the consumer. And they do what they have to do, and they have taken decisions that we found, if we share our data, are unfounded per se. But I'm sure they do, and they take up their responsibility very, very seriously. I would be the last person here to start doubting or speaking about speculation. That's not how we operate. What we want to do is share with full transparency full transparency, all our data that are, with the additional tests we've done, very extensive, and share that, share methodology, share etc. I think this is a result of unfortunate confusion that has spilled out and that we have to confront. And that's why we retake the product from the shelf because there is not an environment, as you can imagine, you see just this room, all the people you are in here, this is something that is hot, we want to settle down, clarify the thing, uh, the situation, clarify uh, the divergence in results. We want to see the results of which the authorities have based certain decisions, and I repeat that they took with full responsibility, I'm sure of, for us now to sit together and clarify. We honored the Indian consumer to do that. We honored the trust they have put in the Maggie noodles over more than 30 years. We own the consumer a clear response. So my name is Abzi. I'm from Science Now. So you have been trying to justify yourself by saying that Maggie is safe to consume. A, if uh, you did know that the Indian uh, labs have tested uh, positive as far as the excess lead in Maggie is concerned. So why even now are you continuing to say that Maggie is safe to be consumed where the Indian states have come out with reports which have categorically mentioned that it is not safe to be consumed. And that's why most of the states have also banned the sale and consumption of Maggie. And B, if you really feel that uh, Maggie is safe to be consumed, why is Nestle trying to take this moral high ground by taking Maggie off the shelf in the country? I repeat, um, we have um, affirmative, we are affirmative to say <laughs> with all the tests we have done, and they have been extremely extensive lately, all indications that we are way below the limits and the product is safe for them. And that is the base on which we say that we can say that our product is safe. There may, and apparently there are indications, we don't have that notified in our hands today, that the product is tested differently, maybe through different methods or readings that we want to share and clarify. We are applying quality assurance and safety measures and standards that we apply everywhere in the world that we have applied for more than 100 years here in India to secure our first priority, safety and quality of our products. These results are conclusive for us. We want to share them with the authorities to clarify. I think this is a matter of clarification and sitting together and frame and create again this trust relationship. That's what we're up to, that is what we want to do. And my second question, why are you taking it off the shelf? We take it off the shelf because we don't feel, if you see, and you feel the environment, you feel the consumer distrust and confusion with all what I read. We say, and we have been very explicit saying, or whether it is safe, you have authorities that say, watch, we are not sure, we hear things, we do precautionary, we take it from the precautionary, we don't have to, 
the course should be taken from the shelf. That diversion of statements don't, doesn't help. We are a company that lives on the trust of consumers. When that trust is temporarily shaken, it's only responsible for a company like ours to say, well, we take it from the shelf <coughs> until we clarify. And that's what we have done. It is the trust of the consumer. It is the consumer in mind that has been prevalent in this decision. I think it's the right decision, and I hope it's going to be short-lived in the sense that we can clarify as soon as possible to have the beloved Maggie Newton's back on the shelf. First, can you just give us an idea about the total number of batches and the package that you are withdrawing from the market? How, how, how many million packages would that be, number one? And number two, can you please explain about the methodology of your test? Because I, I was just going through the certificate that you have put it out. So the certificate is that for 75 grams of Maggi that you have tested, though you have the certificates. So uh, about the thousand, uh, thousand odd packets that you, you have tested. So uh, how do you extrapolate from that 75 grams to how many, how many packets did uh, uh, how do I just explain the methodology to us? Yeah, regarding the number of uh, packets or the volume, etc., this we, we will not um, say anything special for the moment because this is, these, these are details. We have stock in the market. We have not also disclosed uh, how long it will take to uh, take the products uh, off the shelves. Uh, again, this, is, this will be a nationwide um, <coughs> operation, and of course you can imagine with the distribution that, uh, that we have uh, in the different states, it will be uh, heavy work. And again, we, we do that uh, based on the consumer trust. We want this consumer trust, and we are taking this responsibly. So that's the decision we have taken. Now, further details will be communicated, but it's too early for the moment to talk about it. Thank you. You basically asked the question about how many batches have you analyzed? That was the question. The 75 gram which you read on the report actually is the pack size. It would be 70, not 75. And what we have done is we have done more than 1,000 batches, out of which 600 batches have been done by external accredited laboratories. Uh, what number you will see there, 12.5 crores, 125 million, that we have all the batches which have been analyzed till, till today, the number which you see on the side, translates to 12.5 crores packs in the market. No, we haven't done 12.5 crores packs. Now we have, uh, uh, when we test uh, quality control, you want to do a sample from batches uh, enough that is statistically relevant so that you have a full reading of the quality of the product. My name is Supriya Srinath, I'm from ET Now. I have three questions and I'm going to point them right to you. The first is that your share has taken a huge knock in the last three trading sessions and that's on account of the news flow that has happened. How are you going to justify this to minority shareholders? That's question number one. Question number two is that Indian authorities seem to have indicated that they would want to inspect your factories at some stage. Are you open to that? And question number three is, have the Indian authorities who've tested your product shared their methodology with you at this stage? The share is down, but for me, the trust of the consumer is much more important than that because at the end of the day, the share is going to reflect that trust over time. So I feel you have to have your priorities. Our success is linked with how we relate to consumers, and that is based on trust. Secondly, uh, authorities uh, visiting our factories, they do. They take up the responsibility. There are always visits and checks on our factories. And we are totally open to share uh, our factories, in, um, specifically in this case. So no problem there. And the third question? Uh, has the Indian authority shared its testing methodology with no, you? I said that uh, uh, we have been in discussion. There's no formal there's no formal, uh, um, I would say, uh, sharing of the results of their tests with us. We know that there are some different testing, and I have mentioned one of them, and you take one ingredient, you may get other readings. That is not how uh, these tests are done uh, normally, not by us, uh, because it is how you consume the product, and that is what counts. That is now exactly as we are in this situation now. I feel we come to a point where also the authorities and that's why uh, uh, we, we have still quite a lot of work to do together with them, is to sit together and clarify. I think the next stage is clarifying as soon as possible, because I repeat, I repeat, I don't think anybody involved in this is having anything else in mind than being, giving the consumer safe products. 
The only thing is that there's different methodologies, different readings maybe that has induced certain actions well meant and well intentioned that are uh, causing this turbulence and this confusion. You know, you're the global CEO, you've come at a time of crisis to India. If you give us an idea of the kind of uh, ministers, the kind of people in the government that you might be engaging in, this is a new government that has talked about ease of doing business. How easy is it to do business in India post this fiasco? We have been in India for more than 100 years. We have been in India for more than 100 years. We are part of India. And uh, with the government, we are talking to the authorities, we are talking to uh, the, um, uh, the, the relevant authorities who are the food safety authorities. Uh, we, we may speak to uh, uh, ministers, but basically it is authorities that are managing and are uh, governing the quality of products that we are engaged with, and that is the prime uh, for, uh, priority for us. Uh, doing business in, in, again, doing business in India is, 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 is good because there are the consumers. We have been for 100 years here. We have many products. They are beloved and trusted brands, and I don't think there is any problem there. You mentioned words like anxiety. So what I'm trying to also get at is that Maggie accounts for 30% of your revenues here. While it might be your immediate priority to once again get the trust back of the consumers, uh, the rest of your plans, are you going to go ahead with them? Are you, having any, are you rethinking anything at all about the country? Look, uh, I said, for Nestle, wherever Nestle is, our success also is linked with that trust relationship with consumers. The trust relationship with consumers on a specific product has been shaken, we feel, because of a confusion, uh, not because of facts, to the product is safe. This is important to us. India is important to Nestle. And that's why I am here, to see where are we and to take the right decisions. That's why also, sitting here in front of you and talking, it is Nestle India has taken the decision to take the product for sale because of. I totally support that decision, and I can tell you, it is the first priority wherever, and wherever in Nestle worldwide, to do that. So, very small question. You said you were, you were concerned about the consumers. When the first state government in India, Uttar Pradesh, conducted a test and found this uh, more level of MSG and issued a warning to recall the entire package, do you regret not doing so as you claim that you are concerned about the uh, consumers? Wasn't, uh, wasn't that a, a warning for you? The, the MSG which they found, we do not add MSG as an additive in the product. What what glutamic acid comes in the product is from the natural ingredient and that is why we started writing no added MSC so that the consumer doesn't get confused. As Mr. Bulke mentioned, now we realize that that is also creating confusion in the present circumstances, we are taking it off. There is, there is no requirement to declare anything if the glutamic acid is coming from natural ingredients. There is a question here and I will... Uh, excuse me, we also invited the written uh, questions and I have a, a few of them here too. Let me give that now priority to, to honor the people who have followed the rules here. Uh, there was one that says, uh, is the industry, is, are you by doing this, are you by doing this, uh, doing a, they call it a knee-jerk uh, reaction to the government? I, I'm sorry. What we do is only for the consumer in mind. What we do here is, and you can imagine, if you read the papers, what you write, with proofs or not, but it's confusion. I don't feel this is the right environment to have a product on the shelf. That's the conclusion we have. We decide to take it off, to give us time also with the authorities to clarify this, I repeat. Until we have that clarification, we will not be there. I'm sure and confident that we're going to be back very soon. Uh, there's another question. We will come back to you afterwards. We come back to you. We come back to you. There are written questions that I feel people have followed some rules. We have to privilege at least that question. So, um, Shivani, you, you have a question that you can answer. So, we have a question uh, from Mr. Luther of uh, the Telegraph. Uh, he'd like to know about uh, where we produce Maggi noodles, how many factories we have, uh, are they our own factories, uh, where they are located and where we get our raw materials from. Uh, Maggi noodles are produced across the country. We have five different locations in which we produce Maggi. Uh, they are in Moga, Nanjangod, uh, Taliwal, Bichalim and Pantnagar. Uh, at each of our factory locations, there are very stringent 
monitoring and quality checks that are done. Uh, there are hundreds of people who are committed to ensure that the products are safe and meet all our internal quality standards that are set. Sir, can I ask you please one question which I think really goes to the heart of the matter. I'm from the Financial Times. My name is Amy Kasman. Um, there's been a lot of talk about the permissible level of lead, that lead that has been found in the packets, um, it's below the permissible level. And then there's a the question of whether they tested it only as a percentage of the spice and whether they tested it only as a percentage of the entire packet. My question is this, how does any lead get in a packet of Maggi noodles? We are not food experts, you are. Could you please explain to us how any lead might be present in a package of the spice of Maggi noodles and where this would originate from and what steps you need to take as a company or any company needs to take to ensure that this isn't above the permissible limit? Thank you. I understand your question. And I, I share the same worry, that's why we test on it. Because there is lead, lead and spores of lead, lead in general, is omnipresent. It's omnipresent in vegetables and in the environment you live in, spores of lead. And as we have products, and as we do tests, and actually uh, the Maggi noodles are tested on something like 150 uh, uh, ingredients or spores, uh, to see that they don't go beyond. And that's why the regulations have set a limit that they consider really safe for uh, 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 the human being. These limits are set, and actually if I see, if I see and share with you that we have in all these 1,600 and so many tests that we have done, that our limits of lead are something like an average 100 times under that limit, and go because there's some variation to something like 10 times lower than the limit. That is a limit that is already very safe. Uh, that is what gives me the confidence to say what I say. Your question is more global. Lead and society. Lead and society. But I, yeah, but the limits that I have said is a minimum. These are two levels of spores. And that is omnipresent always be. There's Marjorie Sen, CNN IBN. So, uh, if you could tell us two things. One is, uh, are you planning to withdraw the product from any other countries? We believe Nepal has already banned it. The UK is looking into it. Uh, the other question is, do you feel the perception is going to affect your other products in this country? This is a product, uh, this is a problem, confusion led specifically on Maggi noodles. That's why it is there uh, on Maggi noodles. So I don't think this is a problem global. Uh, Secondly, um, we're not going to take from the shelf in UK, etc., because our fundamental premise here is that we are very firm and confident in the quality of and safety of this product. This is Shweta Rajpal Kohli from NDTV. I'd like you to elaborate on the fact that you've mentioned that this has been a knee-jerk reaction by the government. Would you like to elaborate? Is it a particular state government? Is it around? And you're calling it unfounded confusion. Could you elaborate further on, on these two terms, the fact that you're saying it's, it was just a knee-jerk reaction? Because on one hand, you insist that uh, safety is priority for you, and that's your topmost concern. So in case uh, these tests do prove to be correct, or would you like to question the basis on which uh, the state governments have conducted their tests? Well, I give that second part um, uh, to you, but uh, basically, again, uh, uh, unfounded. The word unfounded is that considering the facts that we really believe is, and by far, uh, allowing us to say the product is safe, all the worries we have, and again, I don't mention here, it is confusion that is unfounded on facts. But I can say that I don't believe there's anybody here uh, that is inducing that confusion per se. Uh, there's something we have to clarify, linked to methodology, linked to definition, and that is why we say unfounded concerns that we have now around us, but it's a fact. Perception is reality, those concerns are there for us to clarify it. Uh, Sunny Sen from the Financial Express. Uh, so scientists say that it, would, it will take about a week to uh, test these products. Uh, how come you came out with a test within 24 hours? Where is this laboratory? Uh, where did you do this test? And uh, uh, what is the authenticity of, uh, of these tests? Could you explain that to us, please? 
Well, I don't think we came out in 24 hours. Uh, uh, we have been testing whenever it started, and you know it has started two or three weeks ago, to have indices. Uh, specifically, we tried, we started straight away, but normally we have all these products, all the batches we have tested before they, they leave our factory. We test upstream all the ingredients. We have all these tests. What we did was, considering and starting doubts about it, that we heard, we started to increase our tests to the levels I have mentioned. And that was not in 24 hours. There's a quick, quick question here from writers. My question is this. Will you challenge Indian testing methodology? Yes or no? No. No. Okay. My, another question is this. Ki how much, because of this controversy, how, how much damage or loss do you see to Nestle as a company or Maggie as a brand? First of all, I don't doubt about the, uh, the tests and the labels and the capacities of the labels. I think it is the protocol and how and what you test and what you read in them that we have to clarify. Uh, this, uh, this is from, uh, Amit Pandey from IBN 7 News Channel. Uh, so, uh, if any of the Indian authorities summon you or Indian courts summon you uh, of uh, recent of all these developments, will your officials go there and uh, depose or uh, will you cooperate in all this uh, testing or investigation? We assume our responsibility. Uh, this is an answer. There was a second uh, question that says how is that going to impact our business? I must say, for me, it's much more important how it's going to impact the trust with the consumer. I really mean that. The business is important for us too, but the business is a result of trust. And that's why we have that as first priority. I want to assure that Nestle and the Maginul specifically enjoys the trust it always has had. And I'm sure we will do the right things together with the government to get that back. Hi, I'm, I'm Shelley from Quartz. I just wanted to know how badly is it going to affect Nestle India's revenue? And uh, you missed the question about the perception of other products, like Nestle India's other products. Well, uh, we will <coughs> we'll not give any uh, forward uh, view on that. Uh, of course, it's a difficult time to go through, and uh, again, we have taken our responsibilities, and we have this commitment to uh, withdraw the, the product from the shelves. And uh, again, I link that to some other questions, how long it will take, how long will be off the shelves. No, no, sure, I will not give any, uh, uh, any indication of loss of revenue. It's far too early to talk about that. But just uh, I complete my, my point on the fact that we have taken that decision and we have said uh, we will come back when the conditions are here and also, of course, when the subject has been clarified with the authorities. Hi, Sir, this is how are from you? Reuters. You have to how are from uh, Hindu. I wanted to clarify one thing. Are there any uh, differences in safety standards or testing standards when uh, it comes to products from different countries? For example, India versus US or any other country? They are not. They are not different. Nestle has a a quality and safety assurance program, the Nestle Quality System, that is using the same standards, the same methodologies everywhere in the world. In India, United States, Europe, Switzerland, everywhere the same. And we obey the law, local laws, as they are. And actually, we normally have a system that assures even lower limits on things. Sir, how, a, sir, uh, sir, how are you going question. to take back? Sir, uh, how are you going to take back the samples of the Maggie in the market? And also, distributor also somewhere uh, shopkeeper are complaining that distributor are not taking back their stock. So shopkeeper has to face and they has to face this incurring loss. So is there any method methodology for this? Again, the, <clears throat> we have released the, the news quite early, right? So it's really a few hours ago. So of course we cannot expect the distributors and so on to react immediately. We have of course to give from a company standpoint, we have to give some guidance to our partners, to our trade partners, and uh, of course we cannot expect them to react uh, immediately after a few hours of the night. So uh, we will be committed to work with our trade partners in order that this uh, taking the product of the, of the shelves is done in a proper manner. But I cannot indicate now how and how long it will take. You said Maggie is safe for consumption. <coughs> uh, so has there been a communication failure on, on, on the part of Nestle India? A, B, are you going to conduct tests on Ma Maggie noodles outside India and uh, stop exports from India? We, as I said, we always test the Maggie noodles wherever they are sold uh, permanently. We have a permanent system of quality control and safety control of our products. So that goes on. 
Um, so, uh, that is something that we have confirmed already. Vandana, you have some news eggs. The communication, if you have confusion, there's something wrong with communication. That's clear. That's why we are sitting here. And uh, so, but you have to have the elements to be able to communicate. It's hard to communicate on results you don't have in your, in your hands. The, the results of tests of, of uh, the authorities. We have communicated once we have our results in our hands, and of them to have the firmness of conviction of our quality and safety of our products, we have communicated them very explicitly um, uh, to you. We have them, and we have all the explanations on our website, but now we felt we came to a point that we have to calm down and settle. And that's why we have taken that decision. Not an easy one, but I think a responsible one to take the product from the shelf until we have the environment that is inducive of having it on the shelf. Vanna, you're from NewsX. You've been aggressively reaching out to your customers through Twitter saying that Maggie is safe. Do you think it's fair to make such an assertion when tests are still happening and still finding your products contaminated? Yes, because we test permanently. So even before we have done the additional tests, to say, well, what's happening, let's do additional on our safety controls. Uh, these tests that are totally in line with what we already have tested when the product left our factories, that's why we have that affirmative test. And that's why we have now reconfirming our quality of the product. Sir, Rakshit from ABP News. Nestle India have one more product and that is uh, known as Nanpro 3, a baby milk powder. Live lava has been found in that particular product in Coimbatore. So what is your comment on that? You can and authorities are testing about it. Yeah, we, we read about this uh, through media. We never received any message from the consumer. Now we are in contact with the consumer and taking it forward. We will see what has happened. But Go authorities have already taken back that fact. We have contacted the consumer and we are also meeting the authorities to resolve it. We con the consumer never contacted us directly. Mm -hmm. We are now contacting the that is So are you, are you in contact with the authorities or are you in contact with the particular Both. customer? Both. And what have authorities said on that particular matter? We can take that offline because we are, right now everyone is interested in Maggie noodle. I can explain to you later. This controversy essentially hinges on two things. One, heavy presence of lead, which is almost seven times more than the per permissible limit. That's the claim of UP Food Labs. The second is the presence of MSG. On the lead, your colleague Sanjayji has clarified that in your tests you have not found lead above permissible limit. But in the case of MSG, you have said that we don't add MSG in Maggie noodles, but there are certain natural ways through which MSG can seep into Maggie noodles, right? Now, my question is that if that is the case, if there are natural ways, we know there are natural ways through which MSG can actually seep into a, a, a product uh, naturally, then why first it was not declared and why there is a controversy if it was such a simple thing that if you have not added from your side and there are natural ways through which uh, this can seep into a food product, then I'm sure that there are several other food products also in which MSG can actually seep in through natural ways. And if that is the case, what are the official guidelines and why this controversy if it, it can happen so naturally, if it is so natural, and you have not added it from your side. It's a good question. Uh, uh, it's a specific question that is quite technical, but whenever you have proteins and you process all, you get glutamate. What we say is we don't add, we don't add specifically MSG to the product, but wherever you have proteins and you have certain levels of uh, glutamate. Low levels, but you have. So that's why, if you then test the product, they say no added. The no added as a statement that we're going to take out because it creates that confusion you just mentioned. The food safety regulator has issued a notice just now saying that you need to withdraw nine of your Maggie noodle variants. They are also completely rejecting your claims that the Maggie noodles in India is safe. And finally, they say that you introduced oats masala in noodles without a permit and you've just three days to come back with your report. They also say that you say safety is your priority, but how often do you actually test your product? Well, I, I think we have been quite explicit to say that our quality system worldwide and also applicable here is, is very extensive. Just for you to give a, a, a little bit of a flair for it, we have something like worldwide 8,000 people only working uh, on, on that dimension of testing the safety and quality of our products. I think we have in India 
350, 400 people specifically working six, uh, seven laboratories here in the country on the food safety. I think it's intrinsic to the quality we want to stand for to assure that quality. We do over millions and millions of tests a year on the products. We do tests on ingredients upstream. We want to test from farm to fork our products. It's very extensive, but I think if we want to privilege trust with the consumer, that's what the company has to do. That is what we're doing. Well, I'm Zafar Abbas from Sahara Samay. It's not just Maggie that is in the, in the controversy. Let me just uh, ask you, uh, there are two actresses and one a big actor that has also come into the controversy regarding Maggie. Now, the thing is that what was there in the contract when you uh, engage the film stars into, the, into some, sign of a, some kind of a contract, what exactly is there in the contract and uh, if some legal hassle erupts like this one, so what responsibility are you going to take? So, firstly, uh, having celebrities to do product is an international phenomenon. It's, it's not something which is only uh, in India. All but lead and MSG are not, no? Sorry? But lead and MSG are not. Uh, the celebrities who have endorsed this product, they are supportive of what we have done. Uh, we, we'll, we are in touch with them, and in case there are any issues around it, definitely we will support them. So you said that you are not going to challenge the findings of Indian authorities. My question is that if you keep on insisting that Maggie is safe, then why are you hesitant to challenge these findings in the court or any other authority? I'm sorry, I didn't say a challenge. I think we have to sit together, put on the table methodologies, results and clarify. That's all I said. Um, and I must say, I, and I, I, I really value the fact that you have these questions. Um, and we, we, I promise we're going to be open for all these questions. Uh, we, we, we have many things to do now, uh, as you can imagine. Uh, we're going to have the, uh, the, the right channels for channeling your questions and giving you the right answers. You can always contact. The contacts are all, so we're going to give you, or you have a press release where you have the contacts to ventilate whatever possible additional questions you may have. I think, thank you for these questions because that allows us to explain uh, uh, where we are, what we feel, what we uh, have um, in mind. It allows us to clarify, it allows us to clarify why we came, why we came to that decision. It's a difficult decision, it's, a, it's, a, it's an important, responsible decision. I know, I understand there's more questions. Let's ventilate them in a different way. So I must say, thank you very much for your presence here. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.